Okay, here's the TLDR. Thunderbolt, as a whole protocol, allows for the connection of a multitude of devices through a USB-C port. That's like a Wikipedia definition. Most modern devices now share this, and they can transfer data at a blazing fast speed of 40 gigabits per second. But Thunderbolt 3 was better than Thunderbolt 2, but Thunderbolt 4 is not necessarily better than Thunderbolt 3. I'll say it again, Thunderbolt 4 is not necessarily better than Thunderbolt 3. The two technologies simply feature different chipset designs aimed at different purposes. Both offer 40 gigabits per second data throughput, but they differ in how they allocate that data throughput within the devices. All high-speed bandwidth hungry storage solutions are built with Thunderbolt 3 because they have to be. We'll get to why. Thunderbolt 4 devices, C docks, prioritize connectivity and the ability to connect more Thunderbolt devices. So in this video, we're going to look at these two technologies with PVC pipes and a garden hose to help illustrate the point. This is the basic architecture of Thunderbolt 3. 40 gigabits per second input, access to four lanes of PCIe inside the device, and then one downstream Thunderbolt port. This, with a little bit of artistic liberty, is the basic architecture of Thunderbolt 4 within a device. 40 gigabits per second input within the device, access to one lane of PCIe within the device, and then downstream three Thunderbolt ports. Okay, so now that we know what that looks like, Thunderbolt 3 can be used to consume and distribute bandwidth. This capability of Thunderbolt 3 makes it much more flexible in terms of the devices you can create with it. Because the Thunderbolt 3 device itself has full access to all four lanes of PCIe Gen 3 bandwidth, Thunderbolt 3 allows you to split all available bandwidth just about any way you like. You can get creative with it. Thunderbolt 3 is so flexible, you can use it to make a dock or you can use it to create a fast storage device with docking features, which is exactly what we do here at OWC. See Gemini, see Flex 8. We're able to make the fastest external storage solutions in the universe thanks to the fact that Thunderbolt 3 is a big sprinkler, its ability to consume bandwidth itself. Thunderbolt 4 is rigidly designed to hub bandwidth. As a result, it's primarily used in docks and hubs. Makes sense. Because of the difference in how Thunderbolt 4 allocates data, every port on a Thunderbolt 4 device that isn't Thunderbolt must share a single 10 gigabits per second slice of USB bandwidth instead of having access to that full 40 gigabits per second that Thunderbolt 4 supports. All non-Thunderbolt devices connected to a Thunderbolt 4 device must compete for a quarter of that available speed. Does that make sense? Because Thunderbolt 4's purpose was to add more available downstream Thunderbolt ports, the Thunderbolt 4 chipset layout is designed to hub and or disperse that 40 gigabits per second of bandwidth traveling down the four PCIe Gen 3 lanes. I hope this helps, as the truth is it's not as clear-cut as Intel's naming of Thunderbolt 4 implies. While Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4 are foundationally similar technologies, they're intended for different purposes. As we mentioned before, both Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4 offer access to the same amount of PCIe Gen 3 bandwidth. 40 gigabits per second input, Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4 are both sprinklers that can pass along water bandwidth but they differ in how they split that water up among sprinklers connected to them. Thunderbolt 3 can act as a large sprinkler and it can pass water along to another large sprinkler. Thunderbolt 4 can only ever act as a small sprinkler that supplies water to larger sprinklers. I know it's kind of confusing. For now, just know that Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4 are not better or worse, they're just different and they're made for different jobs. Have a good one. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you for visiting the Other World Computing YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to click that subscribe button and turn on notifications to never miss an upload. Join our community and stay up to date with the latest content. We'll see you in the next video.